Today I'm going to be talking about dialectical behaviour therapy, specifically on one of the emotional regulation skills called reducing vulnerability to emotion. I'm Dr. Anna Georgiadis, clinical psychologist for the Brent Clinical Psychology Service. So what is emotional vulnerability? Well, emotions are more likely to be variable and intensified when we are tired, hungry, and experience multiple daily stresses. So this will contribute to how vulnerable we are to experiencing different emotional states and how intense they can be. So our aim is to reduce our emotional vulnerability whenever possible in order to manage our emotions day by day. So we need to think about reducing vulnerability to emotion. And one of the skills is refers to the A, B, C, please DBT skill. So let's go through what each letter represents. So A refers to accumulating positive emotions. B about building mastery. C is about coping ahead of time with emotional situations. Please refers to taking care of your mind by taking care of your body. And this specifically refers to treating physical illness, balancing your eating, avoiding mood altering substances, balancing sleep and getting exercise. So we want to be thinking about how we can accumulate positive emotions in our short term, in the short term. So we want to build positive experiences right here, right now, by increasing pleasant events that lead to positive emotions. So we can be doing one thing each day from the pleasant events list in the DBT manual. Uh, you can see handout 16 for a whole list of possible pleasant events that you can be trying to do in your day and picking out a few to try. You can practice opposite action and avoid avoiding and also being very mindful of pleasant events. So we want to avoid multitasking as much as possible so we can try and capture the moment of what it's like to be experiencing a pleasant event. We also want to be very mindful of the positive experiences by focusing our attention on positive moments as and when they are happening. And this isn't really possible when we're multitasking. So you want to refocus your attention when your mind wanders to anything negative and you want to participate fully and engage fully in each experience. And also we want to be almost unmindful of worries, such as when positive experiences will end, whether we deserve to experience this positive experience or not, and how much more might be expected of us right now. So here's a little example of different themes that are found in the DBT manual in terms of the pleasant events list. And this could include um, things that can help you relax, whether that's taking a nice hot bath, spraying your favorite perfume, or going outside for a walk, exercise, that could be walking, jogging, running, anything that you like, lifting weights, art, doing something colorful, painting, or even listening to music, or even creating music. Could be reading, whether that's the newspaper, or something fiction or something to study, it's your choice, but maybe something to do with stimulating your mind with reading, maybe taking up a hobby, and that could take a variety of, of things and take, take a very for, uh, various forms and shapes. Enjoying the sunshine whenever possible or noticing the weather, whether it's raining or cloudy, um, and seeing how you feel, noticing nature, the color of the leaves on trees, uh, if there are any birds outside, and the sights and sounds of nature. Laughing, if there's anything that you notice and can make you giggle or lighten the moment, pay attention to that. Cooking, um, absorbing your tastes into a variety of different foods. Maybe collecting something, whether it's stamps or objects or buttons, it could be quite uh, an interesting and engaging hobby. Going out, whether that's out to a coffee shop or meeting with friends or going to a museum or an art gallery or the cinema, uh, something that might stimulate your interest and also spending time with significant others, whether that's family, friends, partners or colleagues. And that uh, pleasant events list has a range of different activities. So I totally encourage that you go and look at that and see and try different things out. So what about accumulating positive emotions in the long term? 
well, there are a few steps here. And the first would be, we need to stop avoiding. So avoid avoiding. If you are typically um, procrastinating or delaying tasks, we need to stop doing that. And it's about taking action. So we must avoid avoiding. You want to identify your values and what's important to you. You want to identify one value that you want to be working on right here, right now. And you want to identify a few goals related to this value. So the way we see it is a value is something that you can never fully achieve, but is important to you. Say, for example, trying to be a good friend. And a goal might be a specific behavior linked to that value. So that might be responding to text messages of that friend. So there are something that is something you can achieve. So remember, value is something that you can always keep working towards, but the destination you never fully reach. Uh, and the goal is something that you can um, complete and is very task focused. But remember, the goals are very much linked to our values and what's important to us. So it's really important that we link these up. Five, we're thinking about choosing one goal to work on right now. And we want to identify small action steps towards that goal. So if the goal is getting a degree, you might want to break it down to maybe first looking at the website for the, the degree, getting more information or filling out an online application or starting to read and going module by module. So you're breaking down uh, the steps of your goal. And you want to take one action step right now. The difficulty is when people get overwhelmed and they want to try multiple things and it makes it very difficult. So try and complete one action step uh, moment by moment. And we talked about values. So we need to think about what is the priority in your life? What's important? And they're typically around different areas. So that could be about relationships, work, and maybe job security, financial security. And it's really trying to think about what is important in your life and how can you take steps towards what's important for you? So let's go through the list. So one aspect that it, people uh, would like to work on or nurture is relationships. This could be with friends, family, partners, colleagues, maybe being part of a social group, um, achieving at work, job security, financial security, maybe trying to have some pleasure and enjoyment in life. So it's not always about work and trying to balance that out. It's maybe something about spontaneity and variety. Maybe that's really important to you. And you want to think how you can build that into your life and routine. Being respectful, maybe to yourself and to other people, that might be important to you. Or maybe there may be some desired personal characteristics, like you want to be uh, to show integrity for yourself, for others, being caring, uh, loyal. There can be so many different personal qualities and characteristics that you might want to um, strive towards. And then you can try and think about what actual specific behavioral steps can you take that actually fits in line with your value of being caring or maybe independent or whatever in it whatever it may be you might want to think about being self-directed or independent spiritual thoughtful physically healthy or contributing to the wider community or it could be a combination of all of these so just to summarize we want to think about emotional vulnerability so emotions can fluctuate and intensify in response to tiredness hunger and stress and what we know is that we can reduce our emotional vulner vulnerability by using the ABC Please DBT skill. So the A refers to accumulating positive emotions. B is about building mastery. C is coping ahead of time with emotional situations. Please is taking care of your mind by taking care of your body. And we want to incorporate pleasant activities and those that are linked to our values. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful just to give you a little bit of an introduction to emotional vulnerability, how we can reduce emotion, emotional vulnerability, and thinking about pleasant activities, how we can incorporate that in our week, and our values, doing what's important to us, for us, for others, in the long term and in the short term. So what I would love for you to think about is what your particular values might be, what specific goals might fit with those values, and trying to practice um, picking out things from the pleasant events list in order to build a bit more uh, pleasant uh, activity in your week. So until the next video, take care and bye-bye.